I mean, I never thought they would ever come to this. I mean, I, I feel like I'm in a science fiction movie, a bad science fiction movie, right? somewhere all over this planet, lack of tolerance and acceptance of each other. It's, it's a great drama unfolding in front of our eyes. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a, a mythic proportions with nothing less than the fate of humanity at stake. So we are at the crossroads of the way that we live in this very fast world. That we're not thinking about the future. In, in fact, we lost our spirit. To think about what is happening throughout the world, and all these global disasters that's going on. By becoming voluntarily good stewards of this planet, but instead we're ignoring our stewardship responsibilities, ignoring the interconnectedness of all living organisms and the whole environmental situation, we're intentionally ignoring that and going for the personal comfort, me first, as long as my life feels okay, to hell with the rest of the world. There's millions of children starving, people starving on this planet right now, but as long as you're refrigerator is full and it doesn't affect you, it really doesn't affect you. It's self-interest has been driving humanity. As the human condition, this is who we are. You know, it's part of who we are, ain't that, ain't that pretty. What we're really facing is actually a crisis of consciousness. That's the old mode of consciousness is not working anymore. And the old mode, in the most general sense, says, if I'm not feeling okay, if I'm not feeling at peace in myself, if I'm not feeling happy, I need to do something. And that's what we all got caught up in this. I need to have a new experience, get something new, get my friends to be a certain way. But we fall into this belief that I can only be at peace in myself if I've got things around me the right way. It's time to do things differently. Because in one way or another, we're going to have to give up a lot of our material things. There's no way we in the West can continue with this level of lifestyle and the rest of the world also wanting it. It's just impossible, so we have to learn to give that up. But to give it up willingly, I think we have to realise we don't actually personally need a lot of this stuff. I think advertising, marketing, hypnotises us almost into belief if only you had this, you'd be happy. We need to reach out to the natural world instead of being separated from it, since we really have as a culture um, since the Industrial Revolution, uh, we've really turned our back on the natural world in a big way. In fact, most young people don't have a clue. The solutions for the future are going to depend on us becoming attuned to the natural world and we shed our hubris and become integral with the larger ecological forces that sustain us. Within the means of nature, it means we have to stop bringing huge amounts of material from underneath the earth. It means, secondly, we have to stop infusing nature with, with hundreds of thousands of different uh, synthetic chemicals. And third, we need to stop the physical destruction of the planet. So that's within the means of nature. Be a good idea to do some, take some actions now, you know, while we still have the luxury of being able to do some planning, and we still have the money to do it. This grand experiment called humanity, this experiment of consciousness, um, 
has an opportunity. I believe the opportunity here is to have a leap in consciousness. We have to do things differently. We have to see things differently. To become how we turn it around so that the transforming energy side becomes the only side to be on. And that's the challenge that faces all of us. I know which team I'm playing on, which team I want to win, and so I just, I play on that team and know there's hundreds of thousands of other people out there playing on the same team, wanting this a better, more humane, wiser way of relating to each other and relating to the world. And just the more of us who do that work, I think the more it's going to infiltrate the culture. Appealing to the sacred um, in a really humble way and really, you know, asking for guidance. That's what this time calls for. And um, in a really humble way. but voluntarily choosing a sane life, a life of spiritual warriors again, as artists of our own creation. And all the visions of what's going to come between now and then, I hope are just the lessons that will make us stronger, more certain about what we want and need, and more certain of what we'll no longer tolerate. We are the key in this new millennium. I just hope in the process we don't become intolerant of each other. Because that's just always on the edge of things. We need to think about the future. The old ones say. We're at the point of no return. If we go much further, we won't be able to restore the balance that we've destroyed. So the writing is on the wall. It doesn't have to get any worse. Can't you see what's going on? But for the masses of people that are still sound asleep and snoring, it's going to have to get a lot worse before they see the results of their actions.